This video gives an overview of what you will learn in the Backup and Migrate series. The Backup and Migrate module is one of those standard modules that is installed on virtually every Drupal site built. As of this writing, there are well over 200,000 sites reporting that they have it installed. We'll start out by installing the modules necessary to use Backup and Migrate, configuring the private file system, and then make our first quick backup. Then we'll look at the Advanced Backup tab and how to configure a one-off backup with a configuration different from your saved profiles. We'll see how the restore feature works by creating some content on the site and then restoring from a previous backup and watch how it reverts all changes and new content since the backup. We'll take a look at the default settings profile and then create two custom profiles of our own. We'll also see how to set up regular automated backups so that you'll always have an up-to-date backup when something happens to your site. Then we'll take a look at the five destinations that come with the backup and migrate module, server directory, MySQL database, FTP directory, Amazon S3 bucket, and email, and walk through setting up each one from start to finish. We'll also take a look at using the Node Squirrel service to easily backup to a secure off-site destination. Finally, we'll take a hands-on look at the permissions that come with Backup and Migrate so that you'll know which permissions can safely be granted to various administrative users of your site. When you've finished watching this series, you'll have everything you need to know how to keep your site backed up so that you'll never have to worry about lost data when something bad happens to your site.